let me hit you with some ancient wisdom. The Parthenon's columns are mathematically crooked. They bulge at the middle because if they were mathematically straight, they would look like they skipped leg day. The Apple logo isn't mathematically aligned either, but it was adjusted to appear pleasing to the human eye. This is called optical alignment, and it's the art of eyeballing your design to make it look right, and it's crucial to web design. All right, let's build a better understanding in the context of web design. Your training starts now. Look at this YouTube logo. Looks normal, right? Wrong. If we look at the exact dimensions, it's off center. If you look at the logo with the triangle exactly in the center, it looks wrong. This is called optical compensation. Are these shapes the same size? Well, if you have any idea where this video was going, then yes, they are the same size, but it feels off. We can slightly increase the size of the circle and the shapes will look visually closer to each other. This is especially prevalent with icons. So look out for triangle shapes looking smaller than other icons. Icons. So that's optical compensating for the size. Now let's compensate for the color. The colors are less noticeable, but if we are really worried about the weights, we don't want the text to be dimmed out. To make sure the text isn't dimmed out, we can make the icon a little brighter or the text a little darker. Finally, positioning. In the left example, you can see that two objects are centered relative to each other. In this case, we need to account for the baseline of the text and move the dots down. Doesn't it look slightly raised up when centered? In the end, you don't need math here. Trust your eyes. If it looks wrong, it probably is wrong. Do what feels right. You can also apply that lesson to other parts of your life.